Okay. I've been getting a few comments on the <coughs> um, run programs as admin under Vista uh, video um, that some people are saying that the option's been grayed out for them as far as running admin. Um, you know, boxes faded out. Um, how do you unfade it? Yada, yada, yada. Well, I've found out that it's usually related to um, user access control itself. If you go under your control panel and then under user accounts and family safety and then user accounts, you have this option here uh, to turn user account control on or off. Um, if you have this turned off, you know, I just want to warn you, you have it turned off, you want to say later. Um, and of course, I don't want to restart at the moment, but um, if it's off, I've found that this run as administrator is um, grayed out or disabled. But if you go back in there, and have it turned on your running as administrator will be re-enabled it'll show up normally and you'll be able to run programs as administrator now if it's grayed out um, your user access control is most likely turned off um, there's a couple other things that could be going on but that's most likely what it is, your user access control is turned off. Um, and that will mean that you're running as full permissions. Um, so whatever user permissions that you have are the user permissions that you're going to have uh, for running that program. You're not going to be able to take it up anything higher. So if you're an administrator, you're going to be running as administrator anyway. Um, there are some programs um, that still need that it's not a bug with Vista so to say it's uh, a bug with the program itself the, uh, like .NET framework things like that um, so there's nothing really you can do on it except turn user access control on and do that um, like I said in the video before going into properties and compatibility tab try that um, if you don't have this compatibility tab you're missing either a registry value or you're part of a domain um, or another group policy has been enforced on your system to actually disable this compatibility tab so um, just so you know but if that doesn't take care of it for you guys let me know and I can do another video on that particular registry entry um, until next time, I'll see you guys later, and keep your questions a-coming.